a Muslim area that saw some of the worst violence. Until now, it was impossible to get inside Mustafabad. This road was full of mobs of men armed with sticks, stones and even guns. We stop when we see a stream of people hurriedly crossing our path. These are Muslim families and they're fleeing the Hindu-dominated areas they live in. They don't feel safe in their own homes anymore. One man tells me Hindu mobs are slaughtering us like goats and chickens. We're shown a mosque that was set on fire. Holy books reduced to ashes. Just outside, a Muslim man was stabbed to death. He was the father of these girls. His wife has covered her face in mourning. <laughs> Over the past few days, Dr. Anwar, who runs this basic neighborhood hospital, has had to cope with hundreds of patients. Until now, they couldn't be moved out because the roads were blocked. In the adjoining Hindu-dominated locality too, there's fear and anger. A man shows us where he was hit by bullets. This woman tells me petrol bombs were thrown at her home. What used to be just a busy street full of shops has today almost become a boundary between a Hindu community on one side and a Muslim community on the other. These religious divides have been deepening in India ever since Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Hindu Nationalist Party came to power. A citizenship law passed in December was the trigger for the rights. It gives amnesty to illegal immigrants from three neighboring countries except Muslims. For months, it polarized opinion. Now, it's left the capital on edge. Yogita Lamay, BBC News, Delhi.